Have you ever wondered where drivers like Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Antonio Giovinazzi, or Daniil Kvyat went after being released from F1? Not only them, but also other well-known riders that we are going to look at. Are they still racing? Or are they done with their careers for good? Daniil Kvyat Daniil Kvyat is a Russian racing driver, known for his time in Formula One, where he raced for the Toro Rosso and Red Bull racing teams. Kvyat made his Formula One debut in 2014 with the Toro Rosso team. He scored points on his debut at the Australian Grand Prix, becoming the youngest driver in Formula One history to score points, breaking Sebastian Vettel's record. In 2015, he was promoted to the Red Bull Racing Team, where he replaced Vettel. During his first season with Red Bull, he achieved his first podium at the Hungarian Grand Prix, where he finished second. He finished the season in seventh place in the Drivers' Championship. 2016 was a challenging year for Kvyat. After some disappointing performances and an incident at the Russian Grand Prix, he was replaced by Max Verstappen in May and returned to Toro Rosso. The move affected his career as he had to deal with the mental pressure and find his form again. Although he recorded some good results, his Toro Rosso career was marked by inconsistent performances. After the 2017 season, Kvyat was released from the Red Bull Junior team and left Formula One. In 2018, he became a development driver for Ferrari, allowing him to stay close to Formula One. In 2019, he returned to Formula One with the Toro Rosso team, making a comeback to the podium at the German Grand Prix, where he finished third. The 2020 season was Kvyat's last in Formula One, when the newly named Team AlphaTauri announced that his contract would not be renewed. Fiat then joined the Alpine team as a reserve driver for the 2021 season. In 2021, he was a reserve driver for the Alpine F1 team. In 2022, Kvyat was entered to compete in the FIA World Endurance Championship for G-Drive Racing, but this team withdrew on March 6 in response to conditions introduced by the FIA following the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. He called the restrictions unfair and discriminatory. Kvyat drove at the Indianapolis Road Course Race in the NASCAR Cup Series for Team Heesberg on July 31. In 2023, it was announced Kvyat would race for Lamborghini in the World Endurance Championship with an Italian license. It is hard to say whether Daniil Kvyat is satisfied with his performance as he is currently in 22nd place out of a total of 28 starters. Antonio Giovinazzi Antonio Giovinazzi is an Italian racing driver, best known for his work in Formula One with the Alfa Romeo racing team. His performances in the lower F3 and F2 series caught the attention of Ferrari, and Giovinazzi became a test and reserve driver for Ferrari in 2017. That same year, he made his Formula One debut for the Sauber team as a replacement for the injured Pascal Wehrlein at the Australian and Chinese Grands Prix. Although his debut was not without mistakes, he showed his potential and determination. In 2019, Giovinazzi became a permanent driver for the Alfa Romeo racing team, racing alongside the experienced Kimi Raikkonen. During his Formula One career, he managed several points finishes, with his best result being fifth at the 2019 Brazilian Grand Prix. Giovinazzi showed his speed and ability to fight in the middle of the grid, but his results were often marred by technical problems and inconsistent team performance. After the 2021 season, Alfa Romeo announced that Giovinazzi would not continue with the team and Chinese driver Guanyu Zhou would take his place. After leaving Formula One, Giovinazzi focused on racing in the World Endurance Championship in 2022, he joined the AF course team, competing in the LMP2 category. The WEC offers Giovinazzi new challenges and the opportunity to show his skills in different types of races. He won the 2023-24 hours of Lou Mans alongside James Collado and Alessandro Pierghiti. Antonio Giovinazzi thus continues his racing career in the Ferrari AF course team. Marcus Ericsson Marcus Ericsson is a Swedish racing driver who became known to motoring fans mainly for his work in Formula One and later for his success in the IndyCar series. In 2014, he made his Formula One debut with the Caterham team. The season was difficult for the team and Ericsson struggled with an uncompetitive car which affected his results. After the 2014 season, Caterham went bankrupt and Ericsson joined the Sauber team for the 2015 season. He raced for Sauber until 2018, with his best result being 8th at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix. He showed his ability during his time at Sauber, 
but the team often he suffered from a lack of finance and technical problems, which limited his ability to achieve better results. After leaving Formula One, Ericsson moved to the USA, where he began racing in the IndyCar series. He joined the Schmidt Peterson Motorsports team, now Errol McLaren, in 2019, and then Chip Ganassi Racing in 2020. He has scored several wins in IndyCar, including the prestigious Indianapolis 500 in 2022, one of the highlights of his career. He currently drives for the Andretti Global team in the IndyCar Series organization. Brendan Hartley Brendan Hartley is a New Zealand racing driver, known for his work in Formula One, endurance racing, and as a winner of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Hartley became a member of the Red Bull Junior team, which helped him advance to the higher categories. He raced in Formula Renault and won the EuroCup Formula Renault 2.0 in 2007. His career continued in Formula 3 and GP2, now FIA Formula 2, but inconsistent performances saw him lose Red Bull support in 2010. Despite this setback, Hartley continued to race in various series, including the European Lou Man Series and the World Endurance Championship. In 2014, he joined the Porsche factory team in the WEC. Hartley quickly established himself as one of endurance racing's top drivers, taking his first WEC title in 2015 and subsequently winning the 24 Hours of Lou Mans in 2017 and 2019. Hartley's success in endurance racing attracted the attention of Toro Rosso, who signed him for the conclusion of the 2017 Formula One season. He remained with the team as a full-time driver in 2018. Although he failed to achieve significant results, he showed his ability to adapt to the fast-changing environment of Formula One. After retiring from Formula One at the end of 2018, Hartley returned to endurance racing and also became a test driver for Ferrari and Formula One. In 2020, he joined the Toyota Gazoo Racing Team in the WEC and continues to achieve success, including winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Robert Kubica Robert Kubica is a Polish racing driver who is known for his time in Formula One and his return to the sport after a serious accident. He made his Formula One debut with the BMW Sauber team in 2006 and soon became one of the most promising young drivers. In 2008, he took his first Formula One victory at the Canadian Grand Prix and finished the season fourth in the Drivers' Championship. His career was on the rise but was cut short in 2011 by a serious accident during a rally in Italy. Kubica suffered serious hand injuries that sidelined him from Formula One for several years. After a long recovery and return to racing in rallies and other series, Kubica decided to return to Formula One. In 2017, he became a test driver for the Renault team and later for Williams. He returned as a full-time driver for Williams in 2019, but the team struggled with technical issues and Kubica had limited opportunities to produce significant results. After the 2019 season, Kubica became a test and reserve driver for the Alfa Romeo racing team and also raced in the DTM. His return to Formula One after a serious accident is considered one of the greatest comebacks in motorsport history and shows his incredible will and determination. For the 2024 season, Kubica would step up to the hypercar class to drive the Ferrari 499P of AF course in the WEC. Thanks for watching till the end. In the next video, we will see drivers like Nicholas Latifi. Mick Schumacher, Nikita Mazepin, or Nick DeVries. So stay tuned.